Sacramento County man is now behind bars, accused of playing a part in a firebombing attack on a California Planned Parenthood clinic. Two other men have also been named as defendants in this case. And News Channel's Andy Mapp joins us live from the federal courthouse in Tampa with the details. Annie. Josh, this attack happened in March of 2022. Federal officials say 21-year-old Xavier Batten of the Brooksville area helped two men plan this attack and that he was the one who showed the men how to build the Molotov cocktail used in this crime. This attack was not random. It was a planned and concerted effort to attack the clinic on account of the services it provided, namely reproductive health services. The attack happened at a Planned Parenthood in Costa Mesa, California. After midnight, they approached the entrance to the clinic, launched a Molotov cocktail at the front door, and then fled the scene. The U.S. Attorney's Office says it's a crime that was planned weeks ahead. There are, are strong indications of animus towards women with regard to the three defendants. Federal agents caught up with one of the suspects, Xavier Batten, in Hernando County. Prosecutors say he helped the two other suspects, Chance Brannon and Tibbet Ergel, come up with the plan, even though they say he wasn't with the other defendants when it happened. There were repeated discussions prior to the attack, and Batten instructed Brannon on how to manufacture a Molotov cocktail. All three men have been charged with conspiracy and malicious destruction of property by fire and explosion. Brandon and Ergel face additional charges for possessing the destructive device and intentionally causing damage to the Planned Parenthood clinic. Now, in a statement, Planned Parenthood in California told me, quote, hopefully this will serve as a warning to others with malicious intent towards health care providers that this type of violence and intimidation will not be tolerated. Now, the U.S. Attorney's Office in California tells me Batten is expected to travel there in the coming weeks for his arraignment. They say he is facing a mandatory minimum sentence of five years for his role in this crime and a maximum sentence of 20 years. Reporting live in Tampa, Annie Map 8 on your side.